Hello, my name is Dante Rene, and welcome to the Ten Room Bizarro YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more. Like tonight's film, 1971's Die Stewardesson. I believe it's uh, roughly translated Stewardess's Report. And this is directed by Erwin C. Dietrich, not to be confused with the 3D stewardess film, I believe, called The Stewardesses. This is an Erwin C. Dietrich exotic film right here, Die Stewardesson, and this is put out um, as part of the Ingrid Steger collection. Ingrid Steger is an actress uh, who was in a, a, a lot of Erwin C. Dietrich's films, such as the Groupie and the Blut Jung films that I reviewed in this YouTube page, and this is a 1971 film by Erwin C. Dietrich with an amazing cover you can see right here, folks. Die Stewardesson, rated 16. And uh, this is from 1971. I can show you a little bit of the back here. Okay, and actually, uh, not just Ingrid Steger, but there are other actresses from um, other Erwin C. Dietrich films that you will see in here, as well as actors, men and women. Uh, specifically, I noticed from the Blut Jung uh, films, which are kind of Erwin C. Dietrich's um, young seducers or, or, or blood seducers, um, kind of his versions of the schoolgirl report. Well, this is the stewardesses. The stewardesses report roughly translated die stewardesson 1971. Look at that cover. Unbelievable. So let's get into this film right here. I have so, there there's so much about this film. It's ridiculous. Um First and foremost, as you're aware of, there is a stewardess genre of, of cinema out there. Uh, probably, you know, one of the most popular names that just got released on 3D is that movie I was talking about called The Stewardesses. Um, but this film doesn't get love at all. I mean, nobody talks about this film. This is probably the least popular stewardess film out there because how rare it is, how unavailable it is. But this is put out by the Ascot Elite German Region Free Blu-ray. I bought this off DiabolicDVD.com. And um, Ask Out the Lead puts out uh, the Jess Franco films that Erwin C. Dietrich produced and then Erwin C. Dietrich's directed films as well, like this one. Very rare, very uh, hard to get, very hard to even know about, and we're going to talk about it tonight. Die Stewardesson is essentially um, the story of a group of stewardesses um, who are traveling throughout the world and the different uh, relationships uh, they have and the different adventures and the different sexual relationships they have and sexual adventures they have. Um, but what makes it so interesting is that you're also, you're, this film is your ticket. This is your plane ticket. So not only is this film a stewardess film, this film is your plane ticket. Pop it into your Blu-ray player and you are now traveling to a variety of countries. This film takes you to a variety of different countries. About five, I believe, five or six maybe. Uh, Copenhagen, you know, uh, uh, Rome. I mean, they're, they're, you're, you're, you're traveling all over the place. Um, Munich and Switzerland, and it's unbelievable because you are actually going on location in these different, um, these different countries, and it's, and it's such, you're getting a history lesson, you're getting, uh, major landmarks, um, all of this mixed with these interesting sexual escapades with a variety of different, um, uh, situations and cultures, obviously. Now, this film also acts in a way a bit like an anthology film, a sexual anthology film, like a schoolgirl report type of film, or 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 what's it, Dietrich's Blue June films. But it, at the same time, it's it, it it plays itself also not like an anthology film because it has such smooth transitions in the storyline, and we are revisiting some of the same. Um, we're revisiting some of the same people throughout the longevity of the film. Um, so the characters, the stewardesses, the pilot, they are all throughout this film in a way, existing throughout this film um, as planes go to and from uh, different countries. Um, and there are connections between the stewardesses and it is basically a, a, a snippet of time as planes are traveling and stewardesses and 
and pilot are traveling as well and getting hotels. Um, there is a lot of style in this film. There is a lot of music in this film. There is a lot of diversity in this film. This film also breaks the fourth wall. Um, we, we have crazy, crazy stuff in this film. We have a fish tank mirror. Um, we have actually going into a topless a, a, a sex shop run by a topless girl. Looked like a real sex shop. Um, we take um, we, we we get into some communism. We meet a communist. Uh, we go to Oktoberfest in Munich. Um, I mean, we are going everywhere. Um, there are lots of showers before sexual activities. There's an old man that falls asleep before sex. There's there's very expansive champagne in this film. There are baths in this film. Um, there are uh, porno films within the film, and 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 there there's there's. Uh, communist pot parties and orgies and a book called hash party that has like a, a hardcore sex in it like a hustlers magazine or something this film is crazy let's get let's get into it the music of this film was done by walter baumgartner um and walter baumgartner has done the music for a ton of Irwin c dietrich films as well as as, a, as the grouping a, a, a large group of jess franco films as well and there's wall-to-wall -wall music in this film. Everything from, like, 70s, jovial, fun-loving, 70s sitcom, TV show, 70s uh, movie, mu sounding music, um, to exotic music. As, as this film is a plane ticket to all of these different countries that you're going to visit in this very filled 84 minutes there's music seemingly from all of those different cultures, all of those different regions um, in the film. Um, everything from sitar to to, uh, to flutes to accordions. Um, there's also some excellent, funky, groovy, 70s exploitation, sexploitation type music in this film as well. There's a lot of percussion in the film as well. And there's just wall-to-wall -wall music and excellent music at that. Very diverse, as diverse as the different countries in this film. And um, we get some, at the same time, we get some real groovy music in here as well. Also, sometimes of just natural sounds as well. Um, when we look at the style of this movie, the style is wild. It is in your face. It is all over the place. Now, we have a lot of different things going on in this film. <clears throat> We have sex scenes that are intercut with, uh, with, with, uh, with cows or with pictures of Karl Marx or uh, with, with naked statues, penises. Um, I mean, we have sex scenes that are intercut with the fastest editing of weird things. Now, Erwin C. Dietrich is known for some fast editing sometimes if you watch my other YouTube reviews. And in this film, we have sections that are not an exception to that rule. Um, they are they're fast editing. I mean, sex scenes with edit edits cut into them, like while the sex is going on, that are things that you would never expect at all involving uh, animals or statues or posters or anything. And it's bizarre. It's comical. It's weird. Um, we also have uh, very interesting things, like we have uh, one character who is um, is kind of you're hearing their thoughts. We have another character who you're seeing their fantasies, and the screen kind of changes. Um, we have some very close up photography in this film during the sex scenes, like hard to make out whose skin it is. And then we have uh, one sex scene that is just the camera is completely stagnant and a, and a somewhat of a distant shot, and just stays there. Um, and 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 it's and that's an awesome just an awesome shot. Uh, we have a lot of great, obviously, the 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 city streets of all of these different countries. You're getting history lessons and in, in some form or fashion for some of them, which is weird and crazy. Beautiful hotels. Um, beautiful bathtubs or bathrooms and different situations and different bungalows and, and different uh, hippie communes and, and anything depending on the story. We even had this great nightclub and we have some funky groovy kind of late 60s early 70s music in that nightclub with some red lighting. Um, we have a lot of diversity um, in the style. We have things kind of getting thrown into the camera as well. Um, you can see it in the menu screen something that happens near the end of the film. Um, so things that are kind of in, 
and 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 keep your eyes open. You're going to see people in the city, in, in the in the different regions, in the in the in the, the city streets that are looking at the camera. I mean, was was this guerrilla filmmaking? I have no idea. It looks like it was, um, and you you'll see kind of the actor sometimes look at the camera as something goes towards the camera you know just like that it's really really lots of great style and breaking the fourth wall as well um in terms of the sexuality of the film too as, as this is a, a a sexploitation film this is a film that has full frontal nudity for men and women but the sex is all seemingly simulated and and there's nothing explicit in angles or in actual sexual activity except Except, um, in one, in one of the stories, you know, you're, you're going into a sex shop and you're seeing kind of covers of magazines and stuff. You're also seeing a, a, a totally pornographic book with, uh, blowjobs and oral and all this kind of stuff and, and, and intercourse. And you're also, there's also a section where, um, uh, two couples are watching, uh, uh, an adult film, an X-rated film on a projector and you're seeing some crazy stuff. So it's so weird that the the film itself is um, kind of a simulated, you know, sexploitation film. But then the 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 kind of uh, sexual imagery from books or movies within the film is definitely X-rated. So really, really wild stuff with that. Um, <clears throat> there's a guy with an afro in here that is just unbelievable. Um, there's there's pilot sex. There's a there's a, a homosexual uh, 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 co-pilot who uh, women are trying to break. Um, I, mean, I mean, there's such a variety and obviously free love and experiencing sexuality. And there's even some comments about communism and also, um, or some themes of communism and also sexual liberation for men and women in the film as well. Obviously, 1971. And the film also goes in on itself also with um, sexploitation films or erotic films or adult films, as Erwin C. Dietrich is a director of them. And there's a blow-up doll behind me. Um, so... Um, you're getting all of that in this film, and in the film, you know, you're, there, there are sections that, are, that 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 have this kind of seemingly um, in your face. Uh, the editing is kind of powerfully humorous, or powerfully shocking, or just powerfully like. Um, edgy in a way and um we have sections of just great dialogue in this film uh some romance some interesting just day in the life dialogue the film feels like a documentary at times uh, one guy gives a name to a duck he likes in the film <laughs> that was random um the film plays out like a like literally days in the life and a travelogue video also and in and, and and also the, the the film is showing you the airport and the air traffic controllers and the inside of the airplane and and also um the airport itself planes taking off planes landing uh plane pornography here you know i mean in, in terms of the planes and as a stewardess film the the majority the whole film takes place outside of the airplane for the most part. You know, that's that's the majority of the film right there. This is Die Stewardesson by Erwin C. Dedrick, 1971, roughly translated Stewardess's Report, a very, very rare film in the stewardess genre and something that I think is so special, so unique, um, so light and fun and airy, yet weird, frivolous, sexy, erotic, the girls are sexually attractive, you are going to see some armpit hair if that's not your thing, uh, the guys have a lot of diversity for the ladies as well, or, or, as, or other guys, um, and I will tell you that uh, this is a film that uh, takes you on an adventure, it is your plane ticket to a variety of countries and sex. Thank you so much for watching the 10 Room Bizarre YouTube page where I talk about films that I believe need to be talked about more like Die Stewardess in 1971, thank you.